Hello everyone. So Kaiju Universe since the Kong update has re has done a bunch of rebalances and released a handful of new Kaiju. So I'm back with Blair as always and we're gonna we're gonna do some re-rankings and we're gonna rank the new Kaiju. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> okay. First I gotta set up the tiers. I actually didn't do this. Um uh I didn't do this beforehand, so I gotta set the tiers up. Hold on. Uh -huh. Alright. I don't have an S plus tier, by the way. So, uh huh. Okay. Strong. Good. Good. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, I can do everything, but also suck at everything. Um, I think this is gonna be one trick, as always, and add a row. Up, up, no, add a row. Um, I don't know how to use this. Let me wait. Um, hold on. Okay, so I gotta delete this row and I gotta add a row below this. Okay, cool. Ugh, okay, uh, horrible and obviously, uh, obviously. Actually, we're not gonna be ranking this. Actually, wait, we're, we are gonna be ranking. I think we, I think we will be ranking Mega Godzilla since it got rebalanced. Perfect. Okay, okay. Wait, let me just recolor the tiers a bit. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So I'm gonna start with let's start with Kiryu. I mine's level twelve. I don't know. I don't know how good this is. So you, you can explain. Okay, so I have max damage, and first of all, with the um the beam or a maze maser bolt, it does like up like a, over like a hundred and five to hundred and ten damage per tick, and it lasts a while. Like it does like over two thousand damage. I didn't do the exact oh, math, but it does. Uh, boatload of damage oh god okay. it costs 80 charge and has like a 39 second cooldown but he also has 33 sprint uh 90 swim speed he also has decent health like 3800 health um but also uh macer slice i believe is called actually Attack you know one his, his melees are pretty decent as well but most importantly, his undercut combo has a great hitbox. Like, it covers his entire body, including the end of his tail. And since it boosts him forward, what he can do is face your tail to someone, boost, hit them, and then boost forward. But another thing is, with Mobilization Barrage, think of it like this. Um, it can lock onto someone, but it performs like a double hit melee attack. It does like, and, like, it can yeah. hit them from an... Like, an uh, my, my, like, my think of it like this. I would say. Right, actually, wait. Mm -hmm. you continue. Yeah, continue. Continue. Never mind. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, uh, okay. Mobilization uh, barrage can it like you can hit them from so far away. It has insane range. Where I found a strategy with the melees is what you can do is you can get up close and use um, undercut combo with the tail thing and then boost away. Boost the way again with mobilization barrage, and then hit them with like that, which also does a lot of damage, and then just keep cycling between those two attacks, and and or just and if they get low, you can go in to finish them off with a melee rush. Um, top, and then there's absolute zero cannon, which in my opinion is decent. It has insane burst damage. It does like nearly two thousand damage in like six ticks. Yeah, which is pretty good. Yeah. It costs a hundred. But the issue is, it costs 100 charge. The cooldown is it's such, insanely it's just, long. And it takes some of your and health And it away. takes away yeah. 700 health. But it's not bad. It's, uh, However, it's yeah, it's not bad. And there's finally, also, there's Berserker Rage, where when you're if below, you like, use that at like 1,000 yeah. health or less, yeah. I think it's like when you're below you 33%. a 30% damage buff. When you're below like 33% health, well, below a certain threshold, it gives you, yeah, it boosts your damage. It makes you stronger, so... It's good. Yeah, and it's actually an insane damage buff. Uh, let's not forget that you can also so, self-destruct. Yeah. If you're getting mass teamed on, just know that you yeah, can jump into can the water. Yeah, can use the absolute zero. Yeah, J just know yeah. that if you're getting mass teamed or you're outmatched, it, you just have to jump into the water, use your absolute zero cannon, and it kills you instantly. It's like Fernings Meltdown, except it's an instant kill. It doesn't just drain your health away by ticks. So yeah, you can also bail out of a fight if you need. Um, very powerful. I'll put it in A tier. And in my here. opinion, I think Berserker Rage is a better version of Meltdown because there's no health drain, yeah. and although it's temporary, it still gets the job done. You don't have to worry True. about dying. 
the melees seem just a bit wonky to me, I, and the charge costs are very, very suspicious. Uh, I'm not convinced that it's an S tier, but I think it's still very good. I mean, if it's, I mean, it's Kiryu, it's For me, it's because, yeah, it has really good, in my opinion, r insane melee range where you can technically, you know, do melee attacks with barely taking any melee damage in return. You mm -hmm. have really good speed. And if, you, if you're very selective with your attacks, you don't really need regen too much. Except for the beams. The beams are very expensive. That I will admit. But, True. Yeah. But if you run enough regen, you'll be fine, honestly. I'm, I'm not convinced that it's unstoppable, but I think it's still very good. It's true. You can't be bad, you know. It really can't mm -hmm. be bad. Okay, next one. Uh, what? Okay, Mogira. Yeah, Mogira. Eh. Uh, very powerful. Um... It used to be, like, unstoppable before it got nerfed. Its cooldowns got absolutely sledgehammered. The bullet blast cooldown got increased by, like, 30 seconds. But the plasma laser cannon cooldown just got... It just got destroyed. Double. Absolutely. Over it, it went from 12 to 25. It got absolutely crushed. So this is... I mean, it's the thing, I think is I get people. I get people who say it's still an S tier kaiju. It's like, no, it's not it's, S tier. It's, it's, it's A tier, but not S tier by any means. Monsters, you're literally, literally just blast Mogira. It, it's it's not good. It's not. I mean, it's not as good as it was <laughs> yeah. before. Monster Zero is literally no. Monster Zero and other air kaiju have literally no issue against Mogira. It's just, I mean, it's just yeah. not as good as it was. Okay. Uh, what other kaiju got rebalanced? Um. Hold on, I can check. Oh yeah, I, we, oh yeah, we had to rank Kamakurus. Oh wait, no, we ranked it last time. Actually, wait. Well, we did. I ranked it in the pin comment. We forgot to rank it in the video, but that's because it was just it's that bad. I mean, it was bad back then, but I think it's actually decent now. So, well, Kam Kamakurus is nuts now. Actually, let's rank Kamakurus. I think it's in, on my list. He's bottom of eight here. Uh, I think I'll put him at the very because like when flying, he has like eighty flight speed and a walk yeah. speed of sixty now. And his, me and his melee hitboxes when flying are actually good. Combined with the melee DPS, he's actually like an insane melee glass cannon. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like an improved Mega Gears and like a Flying King Kong. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's like it's like Mega Gears, but much slower, no beam, but actual. It's just actually good. Damage. Actually good. It's just damage insanity. So I think it's good yes. now. The last time we put it in D tier because it was just that bad, but now it's it's a good choice. Uh, I don't think we ranked Millennium, did we? I don't think we did. Yeah, let's rank this. Let's rank Millennium. For me, for me, they're like high A on my list, but they're below Kiryu, mm, in my opinion. I think. Uh, I'll put it in the middle because I mean the, the beam and the pulse cost absolutely atrocious, but it's in my opinion solid. they're really good for starting a fight. They're terrible in the middle of the fight, yes. but if you can pull them off the, to start off a fight, you have a huge advantage. The beam does like 3000 damage in total, so I mean it's well, by no means is millennium just bad. It's a very solid choice. I think I'll put it in middle A tier. It's fine. Just a fine kaiju. Nothing yep. really wrong. Also has insane he has insane regen for his health too. Like 100 at base per per, per tick. Okay, the next, yeah, that, yeah, that, that's that is true. Yeah, at base HP it has um it has like thirty nine hundred. No, no, I mean not not base HP. Uh, base regen. It is better. It is better regen at base at level one than like a max destroyer. So you know it's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when we initially ranked Mega Gears, we put it in like I think I put it in B tier. I don't know, but I think you put it like you thought it was good, but and then we dropped it to C tier. Uh, uh, yeah, I corrected that in my most recent video. Yeah. I put it in like C tier. I I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it to very low C tier. It's just. It's almost falling into a one trick now. The thing about Mega Gears is I know it got a buff, but that buff is just it's it's not enough. It at got all. a second health buff, which increased its health by a little bit less than two hundred. I heavily overrated Mega Mega Gears when it came out. It it seemed like a good kaiju, but now it's just it's uh, it's mad. Like if Kamonga just goes even Kamonga, if it just goes hyper aggressive, I mean you just lose. You, yeah. you literally lose. Mega Gears you need to pressure and if you don't just immediately pressure, then you kind of lose. Which is why I wanted to put it in one trick, but I felt like, you know, it's not it's not that bad. At least it's got like a very it's it's got an alright beam. It's not it doesn't deserve one trick, so I think I'll put it in low C tier. Because it's just not in a good state right now. Not at all in good state. Yeah. Very poor shape right now. Okay. Uh Mecca let me see. I think it's I think it's I don't know if I want to put it in the top of A. 
or the bottom of S? Because, I mean... I'd say bottom of S, hmm. in my opinion. I'll put it in... Because he's, he's... Yeah. He's not brain dead anymore. Thank I'll God. put it in the top of A. Before, I used to... I was I could I could I could be I could definitely beat a, me- a max mecha with Monster Zero, but it was a tough process. Now it's just not it's not hard at all because they it's not hard to beat a mecha at all if you're using the right kaiju because it doesn't swim at like it doesn't swim at lightning speed now, which is good. It doesn't swim faster than it flies. Yes. as a flying kaiju. Yes, exactly. Yes, I think it's I think it's it's uh, getting dropped out of S tier. All right. Well, I mean, we did put it in the. I, I mean, I not not you, but I did put it in the bottom tier. But I think it's not that brain dead anymore. So I'll just I will save it from the purgatory anyway. <laughs> what else do we have? Uh, what else got rebounded? Hmm. Manila. Oh, should we rank oh, Manila? Yeah, oh yeah, Manila. First of all, he can swim. I'll, I'll list these off. First of all, he can actually s- properly and you know consistently swim now. Torpedo, which is amazing. Torpedo. And, but the biggest one. Is that his melee cooldowns used to be two point seven for both melees? Now they're one point seven each. Yeah, yeah. I think like Armin thought it was an thought it was a bug because Manila was just attacking that fast. I think it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to put it in one trick or maybe not. Uh... I think he's just barely and maybe not now. Yeah. I don't think he's a disappointment anymore because now uh... they also increase his melee costs from ten each to fifteen each. So now I would say with him having swim nap speed now. And um, his meal, him actually needing charge, those extra 100 levels actually have a purpose. Now. Yeah, I mean, it's still kind of useless to increase the charge cost, because, I mean, at level 200, he can literally max every single stat. But, yeah, he can max all the stats, because he, his, his, he goes to level 200. I think I'll put him in low C tier. It's definitely not better than Mega Gears, because, I mean, it can't fly, and it doesn't have a beam, but, I mean, it's not, it doesn't suck at all now. It's all right. So it's an all right kaiju. You want to meme around? Yeah. There? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Oh, what That's else? Sweet. I don't think Shin is really deserving of S tier anymore. It's it's incredibly easy to counter if you know what you're doing. Honestly, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping Shin. Uh, you're dropping Shin. Yes. Bottom of A tier. I think it's just that bad now. I feel like it might also be a case of motions don't know what they're doing because I feel like Shin is extremely. Ironically, needs the one of the most skill skills out of any kaiju because it's so demanding of good positioning. Because if you're if you're poorly positioned, you get mm-hmm. easily punished. But if you are, have your own good positioning, you can easily merc like nearly any a lot of kaiju basically. Yeah, but the thing is, at least from it's considered by the community, a lot of the people uh, in the community to be like nowhere as good as it once was, and. Even Proverb, the literal god of the Monster Zero users, he gave Shin a shot, and it was terrible. It, he he hated using Shin, and he's legitimately competent. He's not like he's not like you know your average Shin user. No, he's just, he's legitimately competent. And I just feel like that it's brought down because back beams are actually part of Shin's hitbox. If a Shin uses back beams, if you hit the back beams, you can damage it. So that's just not good. And in most cases, you're just gonna get uh, a bad. You're just gonna win like. You know, like an exchange of hits, if that makes sense. Right. I don't really like that part. I'm, I'm hmm. drop. That in my I might lower shit on my list. If I'll have to do some retesting, honestly. So we're right. Is that alright if we do that soon? Sure. I'm dropping it to the uh, uh, same as Millennium for now, because okay. it, I don't think it's deserving of Unstoppable anymore. You just, you literally just abuse the back beams hitbox, and they can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered. Uh, Burning and Haste got some really bad nerfs, so it's time to re it's time to re rank them. Really yeah, terrible nerfs. Yeah. Uh, Heisei, I'm definitely. I think I'll put it. Both of them got the same nerf. Yeah. Two seconds to two point eight. Yeah. That. Come it. That might not seem like much, but once you actually use it in a fight, it is horrible. Even as Burning. Like here, I I can I can list, give, give an example. Imagine uh, fourteen seconds. The old burning and Heisei could land seven hits in that in that fourteen seconds. Now they only land five, and that two hit difference is big. It's seventeen hundred damage if you're burning. And for uh, Heisei, it's about thirteen hundred. Yeah, you're so little, you're, both big difference. You're losing a critical amount of damage in that, and I don't think I'm I'm dropping Heisei to just just uh probably about the same as Shin, and I'm dropping Burning to 
uh, I don't know, probably like mid to high A tier. They are they got sledgehammered by that nerf. Yeah, really but at the same time, I feel like that was kind of necessary because it was. If, if, at least for the Heisei nerf, it makes destroy a, I can't say more difficult, difficult, but just a you bit know, harder. It makes it. It, it makes it less brain dead, and with burning, burning was literally better than thermo. So you know, before that, but now I think it's actually thermo's actually you know better now. I and I'm saying this oh, because yeah. actually continue, continue, yeah, continue. I'm saying this because thermo costs like what a thousand robux, and burning yeah. costs six hundred. Yeah. Why was burning better than thermo for such a long time? Is what baffled. That is true, and I, I don't. I, in all honesty, I agree with these. I agree with the cooldown increase, but not this extreme. I think it's just it's ridiculous to increase it by like this. I, 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 I'm fine with it. I still think they're good kaiju. They are. They're not. They are. Yeah, they are. But they're. I don't. I think it was a bit too much. So yeah. Um, G twenty one. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't gotten to this. I think it's easily an S tier. Just on debate. On on. It's not even debatable. It's easily an S tier. You got. Great melee DPS, bonsai charge attack. You have a nuke that you can just detonate in the middle of Tokyo, and everyone's gonna scramble a literal cannon as a beam. It's just that good. I don't need to say anymore, do I? Yeah, no. I and also, there was know. although its speed got nerfed from thirty three to twenty six, it okay. twenty nineteen and twenty fourteen recently got a buff where they did twenty percent more melee damage in the water. So twenty twenty G twenty one does twenty percent extra melee damage when swimming, which is pretty terrifying. True. Yeah, I'm gonna also just rank Monster Zero. Um, I think last time I think we put it in maybe middle of S. I think it's high S. I it's high top tier now. Like my top tier is S. Yours is S plus. I think MZ actually does qualify for S+. Plus. It has no bad matchups except Destroya. That's the only bad matchup it has. And if you and against 99% of Destroyer users, if you know how to play MZ, you're just going to win. That's just the truth. You're going to win. So The I reason think, I don't have him there is because he has below average regen. He has a bloated hitbox, and his beam is absolute garbage, which means beam combat form is kind of very horrible, which actually can make him vulnerable to meme the beam kaijus to an extent in my opinion meanwhile I mean, you have just... king Ghidorah, which has more dps average health regen and has a decent beam they combine with his melee that's why i at least i still think monster zero is you know middle of upper mid s tier on my list still wait where but do you have... i can understand your reasoning oh. behind it where do you have where do you have a 2021 in your list he's top of s tier right now well, wait, but... over Oh. For mine is based off overall, overall, oh. like oh. overall, I think he's the top of S tier, at least in my opinion. I think the stats are, I think the stats for like, I mean, the region is acceptable and it's acceptable enough. I think you'll probably just be able to menu after a fight and just get back in there. And let's not, for, let's not forget, just, you can also, you can also do a very cool kamikaze rush. Just max regen and go crazy on, go crazy on a mass team. It, it works very well. Let's not forget that. Monster mm -hmm. Zero is that awesome. Okay. Is there anything else? Hold on. Um, Let's see. Offer Larva had its swim speed and land speed swapped. Hmm. There was that. Uh, I don't think Monster it, Larva it, is that bad. I think I'm putting it in a... I think I'll put it in maybe not. I'll put it like equal to Manila. I don't think it's that bad anymore. So, yeah. All right, and there's also Kamadov Kun who got a health buff, who now has the same health as uh, Shim Form too. Which basically it got a 400 health buff from 1700 to 2100. I think it's probably just like a mid B. I mean, Kamadov was super overrated when it first came out, and I think I'm just gonna put it in middle of B. I'll, I mean, I did not mean to put it in the in the high A. I meant to put it put it in the middle of the, the middle of B tier. I think that's just that. So it's a Fine kaiju, not the best at all. I mean, it's one of the lower tier flyers, but still good. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't suck by any means, so that's playable. It, it, it's fine. Oh, there's also Showa. Showa. I, I Basically, don't think, I, wait, what happened with Showa? Actually, can you elaborate? Since the last one, drop kick damage went from 680 to 660. Uh, dorsal plate charge went from 800 to 700. 
And according to uh, Malfunctions, the top show main, the maximum damage of his beam went from twenty one hundred to seventeen hundred. Oh, apparently, no, it was always that. I don't think I don't I don't think it did twenty. Yeah, I, I'm not too sure with the beam. I'm not too sure, but at the same time, he literally main Showa and plays it daily. So at the same time, it's like, do I you know? I I don't I I he I plays I it a lot more than me. I always remember it having seventeen hundred to eighteen hundred, like ever since maybe like November when I matched Showa. I think. The, I, I think Mal, Mal's probably wrong on the dropkick thing. Dropkick and dropkick. No, the dropkick thing you can actually check in game. Like that you can check in game. No, it's kick, always been 680 for a long time. No, but now it's 660. I think it might have been just a bug in the menu. Because ever since Showa released, when I got max damage, it would always be 660 for the dropkick. I, I think Mal, Mal is, I think, wrong on the dropkick thing. I think, I think it's still just in the same spot. You know, just, I mean, A tier solid. Anyway. Hmm. I think I want to. I, I want to raise Kamonga probably. I I I might look like. It might every look like no, here's gonna it's gonna become a trend. Every tier list video, you buff up Kamonga. I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. But, I should, no, I'm me, I'm I'm joking oh, with you. Okay, true. Well, the thing is about Kamonga, you know, his viability, like in like you know, as a kaiju, he. The reason I'm buffing him up just a slight bit is because he's had every like every single new kaiju that's been released. He, he has a good matchup against all of them. So, while he isn't getting, like, buffed, like, his stats or anything, he is kind of getting buffed in terms of viability because he's just getting better be and better matchups. He's one of the few things that can absolutely smash a G21 with literally no, literally nothing, like, nothing stopping it. You can literally flawless a G21 as Kamonga. Yeah. I think I'm going to put it, like... Mid to high A tier now. It's not because I'm fanboying by the way. It's just that like if you look at all the recent I do. Yeah. It's just it's I'm I'm, yeah. I'm talking to like the viewers by the way. If you think I'm fanboying, I'm not, because look at all the recent kaijus. Kamonga has a very good matchup against all of them. Well I think all of them. There might be like maybe one or two, but yeah. He's getting better. I mean here you yeah. mobilization barrage, if it can at least if Kumonga gets close enough, it doesn't matter if he runs away. Because how it works is if it locks onto you. You could fly away as a flyer and be like 50 feet in the air and it'll still damage you because it locked onto you. So, I mean, I would say Kiryu, if it's smart, could actually make Kumonga at least be cautious yeah. in that regard. I do love to test that, though, but I think Kumonga just got well, in. I'll show you yeah, what I'm talking okay. about like when you join my VIP. Like, right. I'll show you what I'm talking about right. with Mobilization Barrage. Yeah, uh, it's Mobilization Barrage sounds very interesting. Like... I thought it was I thought it was just the uh like like the two ticks of damage, but no, it's apparently like there's the lock on feature. It's it, it's like yeah, basically if it if you can aim on a target, it'll lock onto that target no matter where they run. Like to give you an idea, uh, many times uh when I'm chasing someone through buildings, I'll lock onto them. They'll go around the corner. They'll still take damage because I locked onto them. Welcome to Kaiju Universe 2021. <laughs> I, yeah, so I think Kamonga's Kamonga just getting all these with like Kiryu might give it some trouble, but I think Kamonga getting all of these ex ridiculously good matchups with every single new kaiju just I think that yields a an increase in its tier. It's just that awesome, and it also gives the bounce team another reason to possibly nerf it because it's <laughs> it has been no. It, I think yeah, it has been nerfed. All outside it has been nerf, nerfed, but like I mean, it, I don't think it wasn't was it always four point five seconds because I checked in game and it's still four point five seconds unless that's huh. a UI hmm. bug. Well, I don't, know. I don't know. According to all, I feel that the cooldown is longer. Like now, now that I played, I feel like it's longer. So I don't I'll know. I'll test it yeah, myself. I don't know. Okay. See so, yeah. how much of a difference it makes. Right. So yeah, these are all the all the rankings of some kaiju that have been. You know, significantly balanced change if that's if that makes sense, and all the new kaiju have been released. So, again, I do read the comments. So if you disagree with me or have a different opinion, you can comment it. Again, be civilized. Don't 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 go harassing people for their opinions. Like, oh, you put, well, well, you, well, you put uh, you put Manila and maybe not. I think it should be unstoppable. Uh, you suck. Dislike yeah, I, I think you just have skill issue. You, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna respond two weeks later. Just, just to tell you that you, you should tell you to use your brain. I'm gonna respond two weeks later because I'm that guy. So yeah, I mean, I, you can have a you can have an opinion. Just be civilized about it. Don't force yeah, it on others. Yeah, don't yeah. be a prick. Don't be a yeah. prick. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.